I said at the start of the year that with Brexit done, albeit imperfectly, I was going to focus as much as I could on China, or in particular, the Chinese Communist Party. Here is a story that as yet has not been told. We know that China has a Belt and Road policy led by President Xi, and that the aim is very simple. It is world economic domination. We also knew that British universities were receiving quite large sums of Chinese money. But this story has been completely untold up until this moment in time, and it is that the Chinese are now buying up British schools. I hadn't heard this until a few days ago. It started back in 2014, and it's now gathering pace. Why is it happening? Well, the independent sector, the private sector in Britain, educates about 7% of our children. But school fee inflation has been so rapid over the last few years that many of them have got real financial difficulties. The boarding schools have made up for this by getting lots and lots of Chinese students to come and pay top whack fees in this country. All of that we knew. What we didn't know was that a series of Chinese companies are busy buying up schools. Now, you might say, isn't it better that Chinese money buys up these independent schools, some of which have been around for centuries. Isn't it better that happens than they actually close down? Well, what I'm, what I'm about to tell you will make you realise just how sinister this is. One company, for example, a company known as Bright Scholar, they have bought Bournemouth Collegiate. They bought St Michael's in Thanethley. They bought Bosworth Independent. They bought the Cats Colleges, a series of language colleges around the country. But when you look, who owns Bright Scholar? Well, it's run by the richest woman in Asia, whose father is a senior figure in the Chinese Communist Party. And you can go on and on and on and see every one of these companies that is buying up British schools has a direct link to the Chinese Communist Party. And what are they actually teaching? Well, for example, the Confucius Institute now has its materials in 29 of our university campuses and 148 of our schools. And they're encouraging youngsters to go on apps such as Go Chinese, where, with basic Mandarin, they can see President Xi giving them a potted history of China and all the great things that it's done and continues to do. It is an utterly sanitized view of China in the past and China today. No mention, of course, of what's happening to the Uyghurs. No mention, of course, what's happening to democracy in Hong Kong. These people are being taught that China is the future. They are being literally indoctrinated by the Chinese Communist Party. I think this is an absolutely massive story. I think it's one that needs to be told. Uh, I'm delighted that the Mail on Sunday have really gone for this in such a big way. You can read it now online. Uh, they've done very extensive research on this. And I think that Gavin Williamson, the Education Secretary, needs to answer a question today. Are we going to allow young children, young adults in our country to be indoctrinated by the Chinese Communist Party, or are we going to put a stop to this? This isn't just about an economic takeover of the West. It's about a cultural takeover, too. I think it's one of the most sinister things I've seen coming from China. I'm pleased this story is now out.